Hey guys, Brian with Intune Marine and we have a special treat for you today. The unveiling of a brand new boat by Vexus Boats, the ADX 180 and we got a special guest here. He's been in the industry for over 33 years. He's a legend in the boating industry, George Little. George, thanks for stopping no, out. No problem, man. We no appreciate problem. it. It's a brand new boat from Vexus. This is the first video on the internet. Nobody's ever seen this boat. Nobody knew this boat was coming and we're super excited to walk through it with you. Let's do it now. So the big brother to the ADX-180 is the ADX-190. There's a lot of common features and a lot of similarities. We're gonna have George Little talk through some of those differences and what made the ADX-190 so wildly successful, why they came out with the ADX-180. George, you wanna talk a little bit about the hull? Yeah, it's uh, uh, all the aluminum Vexus boats uh, going forward are gonna be four piece hulls. So one, two, and then the other side, three and four. So they're, they're built uh, a little bit differently than when we started. This is a great way to do it. Very, very clean and 125 thickness of that hull. George, George, if you could talk a little bit about this piece right here, right? So I don't see any welds. I don't see anything rivets or anything like that. Can you talk about that one piece? Yeah, it, and uh, you will see some welds on the boat and in some really important structural areas, you'll see some welds, but with the four piece hull, we've got away from having anything that uh, uh, just jumps out at you as far as welds or rivets. No rivets, it's a welded boat from bow to stern. Awesome. And then a little bit of the secret sauce to, you know, this is one of the most under talked about things on planet Earth, right? Like we gotta be able to get to the lake. We don't wanna break down. We wanna have a good, reliable, easy trailering trailer. Can you talk a little bit about why Vexus builds their trailers in-house and what makes them different? Well, building the trailer in-house uh, helps with controlling the quality, right? Mm -hmm. And you'll see here, that is actually a four inch channel trailer and on an aluminum boat, you know, that's kind of a big deal. Of. It is kind of unheard of. We don't do roller trailers. It's a bunk trailer. But the fact that we build this in-house, as you said, uh, gives us the, if something were to go wrong with it, you go right to your dealer. You go right to the manufacturer. We take care of it. It's uh, part, the trailer has been for a very long time in aluminum, an afterthought. Right. Well, it's not here. This is uh, the same trailer, same thickness as you'll see on our glass boats. And you have, you've done the, the, the armor, you know, over the coating yep. over here, you'll see that. A couple things that are really nice is when you wipe your boat down, it's gonna be a lot easier. You don't have that gritty texture on there. You have the EVA on the step pads. You guys do have an option to put an EVA step pad on the fender there. This model, even at 18 feet, we haven't talked about that yet, 18 feet with a max horsepower of 115, Mercury, Suzuki, or Yamaha, your choice. You do have the option to put this boat on a tandem axle trailer, which is a really cool feature. Um, additionally, before we walk around the boat here too, can you talk a little bit about the axle and the hub setups that you guys are using on, on yeah. this line of boats? Sure can, and, and you know, not to sell this short at all, but brakes are standard on it you know that's kind of that's a big that's ticket a big item but it's in the price uh you know we're using 15 inch tires and, and aluminum wheels that's there's no upgrade that's the only way it comes uh it is a torsion axle and the bolt buckle tie downs are on here and and we talk about this on a lot of the boats but there's just a lot of really smart uh, innovative or intuitive type things that you do when you design these in-house you can accommodate a lot of things that you can't when you outsource it. So yep. you can keep this buckle away from the paint. You know, different things like that. By adding this piece out here, you've added it for a nice support for a boat buckle and yep. just really, really cool features. You're, you're right, it was built for that. <laughs> Mm 
Now, let's walk to the back. What makes this boat so special, the high performance hull that we have here. George, can you talk a little bit about the steps that you guys have incorporated, which is not common whatsoever on aluminum boats? Yeah, we call it our high performance hull. And there's a lot of pad aluminum boats out there. Well, not a lot, but there are some. But what we've done is we have the pad uh, on the bottom of this hull that actually helps lift it. But what we do that nobody else does is we also put a step in here. This looks very much like a fiberglass boat because that's what we, that's what we built it for. 115 horse on this boat will get out of the hole quickly. It'll be able to, to lift and trim easily. Uh, but this is the secret sauce, as Brian said. Uh, you're not gonna find that anywhere else. And, and my absolute favorite thing and the biggest thing that you're gonna notice when you drive this boat, just like George spoke about, is because you have those pads, when you're driving this boat, this boat is not ever gonna kick out on you. It's gonna lock to the water. I can go in a million circles and this boat will never slide out. That's gonna be safety and that's gonna give you performance and you do not find that in most aluminum boats. Standing up on the bow of this boat, obviously you're gonna have a swing away tongue for your trailer, so you're gonna be able to get into those smaller garages, different things with the boat being at 18 feet. Uh, really, really clean design up here, spare tire, all of those things. As we walk around the boat before we jump inside, there's, I'm just gonna rattle off a couple features that you can get on these boats. You can get bow handrails on this boat. Rear cockpit rails you also knew as of right now you can get cisco tracks on here which is a really cool feature that they're they have incorporated and on the back of the boat you're going to have the ladder which is going to come down here very very sleek clean george you want to jump inside and talk about it yeah let's talk about the fiberglass We're inside the ADX 180, brand new. Look at the size of this cockpit <laughs> for an 18 foot boat. This is very impressive, George. Yeah. Lots I mean, of space. Lots of space. Two chairs, you can put chairs here. Look at how much room I have here. For an 18 foot boat, this is incredibly impressive. Down here in the battery compartment, really cool. We'll accommodate three batteries for a 36 volt if you choose to do so on this boat which is really really cool and then in this back compartment is going to be your crank battery tons of storage i mean look at all this real estate that i have to be able to walk around and fish i mean you guys have maximized every single inch in this boat yeah we tried to to, to not have any dead area if we could possibly avoid it the fiberglass part or the fiberglass infused aluminum boats right. a big part of that is this whole section here you'll see is fiberglass every bit of it and so we build that part and then put it into the boat so it's the same every single time so we're able to do things with fiberglass with shapes and uh, actually using weather strip uh, to keep water in the live well uh, but then there's you know storage boxes under both of the the jump seats and uh, Adding the fiberglass to the boat really sets it apart once again. Right, and it and it definitely, I mean, it's going to it's going to make the the boat stronger. It's going to dampen noise. It's from a rigidity standpoint. It's yeah. it's going to give you more aesthetic flair throughout the boat and not look like your cookie cutter aluminum boats that are on the market. Exactly. Yep. It, it goes a long way to that. This one uh, is showing a, an option of having a ski pole pylon. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what we're looking at there. Yep. And then these jump seats. You guys have had just incredible jump seats that you've incorporated and. I want to touch upon them a little bit because I do think they get overlooked a little bit. 
they're so wide. Yeah. You, you yeah. can get into a 22 foot boat out there and the jump seat is this wide. <laughs> I am six foot two and you can see how much real estate I have. And with the handrail right here, I am absolutely comfortable sitting in this seat. And uh, you know, having the really big live wall system here, all of the attention to the detail with the EVA that you guys are utilizing. Yeah. And even on the, the jump seats, the little EVA points here, so you're not going to scratch and you're going to soften the noise, different things like that. I mean, gosh, it doesn't just hit a home run on this boat. Well, you know, you had mentioned, you know, taking the 190 and, and making a smaller version of it. The fact that there's really no carpet in the floor, mm -hmm. you know, or any of the spots that you fish from, is a really big deal it's not this isn't an upgrade this is the way the boat comes so. right right i know we just touched on the the batteries in here and how you can run a 24 or a 36. yep uh but can you touch on the batteries there's a little bit of secretness here yeah, well it's kind of you know i'm going to use your word secret sauce <laughs> uh on all the vexus boats we try to put the weight in the center to balance. So your batteries are, are here and towards the back of the boat. And then from there forward is the 37 gallon gas tank. So putting all the weight in the center of the boat really helps uh, the balance for getting on plane, for fishability. It's just a better way to do it. Yeah, and you guys have just done a really good job with that. And still to this day, there's companies putting batteries up in the yep. trolling motor compartments and different things like that. And yep. At the end of the day, I like them right here. I see them. I got. I know where right. they're at. You know, and it just makes life so much easier. It does. Just make it simple. Make it simple. Well, I appreciate you walking through that, George. Can we? Let's jump up here to this windshield. Uh, this innovative windshield that you guys have incorporated on this boat and in this cockpit. Very good. Couple things that I noticed, George, before we jump to the console area and talk about the fiberglass consoles and all that cool stuff, I, I saw you guys had added this piece right here. This is brand new on the ADXs. I had never seen that before. That's a really cool uh, yeah. piece just to, you know, for stuff. Stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's all carpeted. And that's the biggest thing. I really encourage you to jump in these boats, look underneath the consoles, open the compartments, look at the attention to detail with the carpet and all of the materials that they're using. The fit and finish is, is next to none. Um, so we'll jump up here, enough from, of me talking here, but the, the consoles are made of fiberglass. So again, with the theme, you know, you got fiberglass throughout the boat. It's gonna last, it's yep. not gonna fade. It's gonna handle the test of time. And that's something that we've seen in all of your boats thus far. We really try to limit the amount of plastic, you know, that we put even in the aluminum boats. It's either aluminum or fiberglass. I mean, that's pretty, pretty easy way to explain it. Right, right. You know, and, and to add to that too, having the gauges up right in front of your eyesight, mm -hmm. down here, there's a really cool pull-out tray that comes out that you can put, you know, hats, gloves, maps, sunblock, whatever. Put it in there, close the door, done deal. Could be a trash uh, bag also. Could be a trash container. You're gonna be able to flush mount up to a 10 inch graph in this area. And in some models, flush mount a 12 inch graph, which is unheard of in an aluminum boat. Transitioning to one of the most Vexus things. When you see a Vexus, what's the first thing you notice is you see the windshield. It looks different than everybody else. Yep. So you guys have been running this on the ADX 190 and it's done really, really well. Um, anything, anything besides what we know? Yeah, well, uh, since Vexus did this, you know, a lot of manufacturers are getting black aluminum windshields now, you know. Right. This isn't just paint. You know, this is a super strong windshield. We took it from our fiberglass and uh, had a new one designed for the aluminum. It's more expensive, but uh, as Randy Hopper says, it's a good good place to spend some money is a windshield. Everybody knows what a nightmare they can be. And we have fixed that. Uh, the windshield coming loose is not a problem. Awesome, which has been a 
historically an issue. We talk a lot about it yeah. in our DVX content. This was a big deal. Yeah. And it was really cool that you guys kind of pioneered this and flattering that you guys are having people. Yeah. 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 So it's okay. We're used to it. <laughs> <laughs>
George, I appreciate all of your time as oh, always, man. sir. No problem. <laughs> how cool is it that we're gonna introduce this to the world? Like, how, how special is that? We're really excited here at Intune Marine. We, we don't have this size of an aluminum boat. You yep. know what I mean? The ADX-190 was the first one that we had in a multi-species aluminum boat. So this is gonna be really good for us. It's gonna be good for you guys. I can't thank you enough for walking through the boat with us today. And I'm really excited for you and I to go take this on the water and get you guys that information. As always, we appreciate you guys out there. Subscribe and like to our channel. I'm Brian with Intune Marine. This is the GOAT, George Little of Exus Boats. And we'll see you at the lake.